Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of my channel. So today's video is a haul, totally different from what I normally post on my channel. So this is a shoe and bag taper haul. So if you're interested, then definitely keep on watching. So I know normally I post beauty and hair related kind of videos but this is different personally i love watching hauls and they inspire me to want to get something for myself so if you're interested you know keep on watching it will be amazing fun and yeah let's get started the first two items are bags just because there are only two yeah so the first bag is this brown small small brown structured bag okay so i got this bag from odell's i've had it for around six Five to six months now and it has this detail over here that helps you to you know hold the two handles together right here and i know i've mentioned it in a previous video that i normally don't like big bags i prefer small structured bags they just look cuter to me yeah so this is a charles and keith bag and another thing about this bag is that it has a pouch which is detachable so it has these two buttons on the side that helps you to attach it to the bag right here yeah and then it has these two compartments right here so you can put your cards your money or your phone right there so it's a type of bag that you won't have to you know carry so many things this may be your phone your cards your purse a little bit of makeup and you're good to go and it also comes with a strap that enables you to carry it as a cross body bag yes so this is the first item and i'll also insert bureaus just so that you guys can see different angles of the bag the second item is a black bag that i've had for maybe three to four months i bought it la late last year and i got it from the shoe boutique so this is the bag and it has this furry detail over here which is actually detachable yeah, but I normally carry it like this. I prefer it without the far detail. So this is a Charles and Keith bag. I got it from the shoe boutique. So let me just open. It has a zipper before you actually get into the bag. So it has a zipper and then it has two compartments. So one and two and then like a smaller one over here, which you can maybe put your a few notes or maybe your cards and it also comes with a strap so you can also carry it as a cross body bag and then one more thing about the bag is that it comes with another detachable strap which i've never carried because <laughs> i feel like it's too much for me at least so when i feel like i want to be a little bit extra i can attach this over here but i've never ever carried this bag with these two straps I normally just carry it without any strap or I insert this and carry it as a cross body bag. So the first pair of shoes are flats, these ones, which have you know sling, sling bags, if that makes sense. So I've had these shoes for around maybe seven or eight months. But the funny thing is I've worn them only once. Now I can't remember the name of the shop, but all I know is I got them from Sour Mall. But I know I got to know of the shop from Instagram and I saw these shoes and I love them and I went and got them. Now the only reason I've worn them once is because the first time I wore them, this elastic over here got loose and I was so uncomfortable the whole time. So I never wore them ever again. But afterwards I took them to a cobbler and he, put, he put these new elastics over here. So these are new ones. I'm, I feel like I'm still paranoid. Every, every time I want to put them on, I'm like, what if it happens again? But otherwise, they're just okay shoes, okay? So I got them for 1,000 shillings. I, again, like I said, I can't remember the name of the shop, but all I know is I went to Sour Mall, maybe mezzanine floor or first floor. Yeah. The next pair of shoes are slides that I got from MRP. I've had them for maybe maybe four months now. So they are these black 
pair of slides and as you can tell i've been wearing them a lot so the only reason i bought the shoes is because i felt like i wanted something that something nice that i can wear when i'm just around maybe go to the shop or to the supermarket and yeah so they have this corduroy detail if i'm not wrong over here and i got them for around seven thousand or eight thousand i mean seven hundred yeah like seven thousand <laughs> 700 or 800 shillings from MLP. Yeah. And I know MLP has a lot of slides. You can get some that are white, others that are pink, others that have a, um, glittery details. But for me, the, the day when I went to buy this slides i only got the black ones that fit me so this is in a size six yeah the next pair of shoes are sandals that i really love like right now i feel like they're my favorite flat sandals so they're these blue clear sandals they have this detail i don't know what this is called but they have this clear detail over here and they are blue and this is in a size seven if i'm not wrong they are slightly bigger than the other slides yeah, but they fit me. I feel like they're okay. Yeah, so I really love them just because I feel like I can wear them with a dress. I can wear them with skirts or trousers and they still look nice. Yeah, so I feel like they give me this nice um, clear or clean finish. Yeah, and I recently went to MRP again and I saw these sandals but in white. But for some reasons, I didn't feel like getting the white ones. Yeah. So the second pair is this from MRP. I feel like MRP, they have cute shoes, like something that is nice and affordable and they're of good quality so if you're considering buying a pair of shoes i would you know highly suggest that you go to mrp they are simple cute and affordable so the next pair of shoes are kitchen heels that i got from the shoe boutique i've been wanting to get um kitchen heels for a long while now so this is my first pair yeah so they are these polka dot zara what <laughs> kitchen heels in a size 40 so i got them for 3000 shillings yeah and i know kitten heels is not everyone's cup of tea but personally i feel like they're the kind of shoes that you can wear when you want to look dressed up but also comfortable at the same time and i would also like to say that i feel like i'm not the type of person to wear heels that are of maybe four inches and above at least something three or two or at least three and below for me is comfortable so these are two inch two inches yeah and i love the polka dot detail and the bow detail as well As you can tell i have i've never worn them i'm still waiting for the day when you know i'll find something nice to wear and then dress them up with these shoes so let me know in the comment section do you love kitten heels because i've i've been googling i've been googling i have googled <laughs> i've googled and i've i've seen that there are some people who feel like kitten heels are a no no okay they just feel like they're not something that you'd want to wear you either put on flats or you put on serious heels okay so let me know, let me know in the comment section if you love kitten heels yes so the next pair of heels are also from the shoe boutique these ones are maybe a three inch if i'm not wrong they're green in color and let me also say that i know i feel like this type of heel or detail on the heel are really trending right now on social media and initially when I saw them, I never, I, it was not really my cup of tea, I didn't like them, but just seeing them over and over again made me warm up to them, and right now I love them, yeah? So they are three inch heel, again, I've never worn them, and it's from Simi London, 
yeah so the shoe boutique have they constantly have heels like i don't think there's a day that i've gone there and they have, i've never seen heels over there yeah so this is a size 40 if i'm not wrong yeah The next pair of shoes are heeled sandals that I got from Backyard and again I feel like this kind of sh shoe or this pair of shoes is not everyone's cup of tea but again this is just my style and this is just what I love. So these are heeled, a two inch heeled sandal and what really drew me to this pair is the heel okay this is really cute I'm, i don't have any kind of shoe in my wardrobe that has this kind of heel yeah and it has these straps and i've worn this pair of shoes once and let me say for a fact they're so comfortable like i was running my errands in town and the whole time i was okay yeah i think because it's a two inch <laughs> yeah but they are really comfortable yeah so i got this pair of shoes from for three thousand shillings three thousand kenyan shillings so each pair of heel that you've seen me showing you guys so far are 3,000 shillings. Yes. Last but not least is this pair of black heels the newest shoe in a wardrobe i got this pair of shoes from mrp recently last week so this is a size 7 or 40. i feel like they are slightly bigger than my normal flat sandals if that makes sense now let me also see i've been seeing right now square toe heels are very trendy on social media or just in this fashion world but for me initially again i didn't like square toe heels or sandals but just seeing them over and over again and seeing how people style them differently inspired me to get myself this kind of shoes and as you can tell these sandals this flat sandal also is a square to flat yeah so this pair of Heels are also, I guess, two inches. So I feel like for me, at least, I want the kind of shoe that even if I'm not exactly walking, I just want to be comfortable, to be honest. I don't want to walk around worrying that I'm feeling uncomfortable putting on heels. So for me, anything that is a three inch and below is for me. Yeah. And they have this, I know what this is called, honestly, but they have this nettish detail over here. Yeah. So I've not worn them before. But soon enough, when I want to go out and I have some nice cute outfit, I'll pair them with these heels that I got from MRP. So pretty much this is it. I didn't have a lot of things, but I feel like the few that I've been accumulating the past few months have been enough for me to be able to make a video about. So let me know in the comment section, first of all, do you love kitten heels? Is it something that you have in your wardrobe or is, is it something that you'd consider? And if, or if you don't even like them anyway, let me know in the comment section why. One. Two, let me know in this collection, what did you like? What would you wish to include in your wardrobe do you like big bags or small bags let me know in the comment section and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already comment down below and up until the next video bye bye